Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Kryptonite, interviews another creator in regards to their journey. Tonight, I have a special guest, another creator that I've known for quite some time. I would even say he's probably been there since the beginning of the streaming era of my career. I'm going to go ahead and read his bio. Tech is an avid gamer, wrestling enthusiast, sports fanatic, seller of everything, and mayor of Pettyville. Tonight, I'd like to introduce my guest for the evening. Tech, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hey, man, I'm, it's good. It's good. Thanks for having me on. Seller of everything. What is what is that? I, that caught I, me off guard. <laughs> I, that caught you off guard? Yeah, I mean, well, that, that used to be the thing. I used to, you know, I used to sell anything, but I can sell anything. Okay. Um, goes back to my days from working retail and uh, selling warranties. So we all started there. And then uh, now the company I work for ended up end up selling stuff so nice and i'm not so upselling yeah just anything you're just really good at that i you know what? i don't doubt that because knowing your personality you are very convincing so yes i, I definitely can convince <laughs> people to to buy things and hopefully uh do things in a in a nice way in a nice yeah way. exactly that's a very good life skill to have well tech let me go ahead and jump into it i I like to ask my guests, what got you into content creation? Like, what was your beginning, your ethos of content creation? And where does your career look like right now? So the funny, funny thing about it is, is uh, when I when I first started, um, I potentially the whole goal of me streaming. Uh, when I saw people streaming, I was like, I used to watch Twitch a lot, right? Like heavy, heavy Twitch. And my whole thing was to, I see these creators that are super good, that are very talented. And my goal was let me stream so then I can help people that are very good become better and actually grow. Right. That's the whole goal. So I set out a whole plan of like, or I think it was like three to four months of me just watching streams, watching the popular streams, watching how they move in circles on Twitter in in their streams and writing down key metrics on what they do to make them better and then mm -hmm. trying to model something like that. And then also, Hey, the whole goal, uh, my, my whole process was stream, potentially get popular, mm -hmm. quit streaming, bring people up. That, that was the goal that that's the, that was the entire circle and ethos of my actual streaming career. My whole thing was never to be the, the number one guy to be a cog in the wheel. So what I'm doing right now is I'm not streaming as much. Mm -hmm. I work a lot, but, um, what I do is, uh, I help streamers along. So I don't name drop, but there's at least four streamers right now that I've worked with that have grown their channel from five to 10 to like in the hundreds. Okay. And I also review contracts, uh, make sure people get the right deals, mm -hmm. um, the whole agency thing. So it's like, it's not all those things are about like who, you know, versus like what, you know, kind of thing, Yeah. what connections you have. So it's kind of hard to dabble into those, but we're working on eventually doing something like that because right now the industry standard industry industry standard yeah. is about like 30 percent, 25 30 percent okay so my goal was to you know to come in and do those things at like a five to ten percent where you get the more money you get the brand deals and then we come in at a lower rate to make sure that you get your money that and then that is awesome that's 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 the the future goal of when i you know resurface but i'm behind the scenes in the shadows currently right now I feel you. And you know, the crazy thing is not crazy. Let me not, I don't want to say crazy. The, the, the amazing thing is I remember having conversations in regards to you saying, yeah, once I get on, like I'm pulling people up, that's it. That's why my, and I remember thinking like, huh? Like a, not many people are doing that and B let alone letting other people know that's my intent with this whole thing. Like, and that was amazing. I always thought that was really good on you to put that up front. And I, I appreciated that. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Like I see, I mean, not knock any creators on they you make money, you make a career and do stuff like that. But uh for me, like I don't really I mean money doesn't mean anything to me. So if I was making big top dollars, it would be I would just like pay streamers to be like, Hey, do your thing. I'll I'll float you, do your career, mm -hmm. pay that stuff. But that I mean philanthropy and stuff like that, that's always been my my thing. So I'm not really uh one to be like, Hey, I wanna be all on me, do stuff like that. I mean mm -hmm not knocking anybody who does that that's what they do it's right, not a right. it's not a slight to anybody because it's just my personality on that thing. 
yeah and i will 100 vouch for tech he it's wild how giving he is with his money and i'm going to say this story because it's hilarious to me uh one of our homies boss who versus was on the podcast earlier in the season he had a challenge i don't even remember what the dollar amount was but mario kart was banned on this man's channel and like i said at the beginning of this podcast tech is the mayor of pettyville and tech was like no uh we're getting mario kart turned back on in this channel and i don't what was it like a thousand dollars is it's like i think it's like 1500 and the oh funny thing about that is yeah that was a twitch check that i could have used i just gave it to him for the charity like immediately like i just i didn't even think twice about it it was just mainly like you know i how many people were like i need to 15 i could have used it i could have yeah. used it on dumb show i was like you know what <laughs> good cause good good thing for him you know yeah. also you know that stuff like that i was like don't test me i'll i'll, I'll do it right now i just did it and then i i tried to warn that man i was people like, were like you were like you're crazy <laughs> and i told people the story he's like you just did that on a whim i'm like yeah man it's just I mean, and what came out of it was such an amazing moment for his community, yeah. for everybody who was it's involved great. in that. Like that shit doesn't happen. And it was it was just so much fun. Like shout out to Tech. That was <laughs> again Mayor Pettyville. He has uh, a shout out to Boss reason. man. Just that put him too, on man. too. Shout out, shout out to Boss and everything that he's doing. Big Boss new verses. So like you said, you're stepping outside of creation as far as like streaming a lot, and you're doing more behind the scenes stuff, which applaud you for that utilizing your knowledge that you gained over the years i will say this before we jump into it you are very good at doing research before you jump into something like you stay studying whatever your next venture is you got documents upon data upon everything you need to execute your plan and i think that is commendable and a lot more people need to start doing that yeah that's a lot of people are they're streaming without a purpose and i feel like you need to the game has changed so much that mm -hmm. you just need to definitely change how you do things. And for me, what I'm doing right now is like we had a focus group. I think it's about 100 people. Okay. Uh, and I told anybody this is it's a big reveal. So basically a focus group, 100 people. Yep. Um, and the number one thing is what makes you turn essentially turn the channel, you know, like in the old days, we're always watching like a show on TV, right? So if you're mm -hmm. watching something on Fox, Boom, nine o'clock, you're on, boom, you watch that show at nine. They got a banger show at 10, but you're like, I don't, I don't care for that show. And then you immediately go to a different channel or you turn it off, right? Mm -hmm. What makes people tune out of streams and what we're finding is a lot of people do the variety and there's nothing to knock anybody variety. Variety is great, but at the same time, people don't realize right now streaming is a business and streaming is you, right? That is, that is the extension of you and if you go live, and you're playing X, Y, and Z for games, they can find that anywhere. What makes you different than the 400 streamers that are doing the same game, right? Mm -hmm. It's the external content, right? So let's say you have a video pop off on Valorant, Alders Gate, Starfield, whatever. You have a nice engaging video on your TikTok or Insta or Twitter. Mm -hmm. You get tons of engagement. Guess what happens when those people go to your Twitch stream or your kick stream? If you are not playing that game or in doing anything with that game, like your personality is cool, but the content is mirrored with your personality. They don't know you yet. Mm -hmm. So when people come in, they see this stuff and they're like, oh, that's the funny guy that did the thing. They come in and they do the thing and they're not doing the thing. They tune right out. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. But then you look at these these Instagram people and, and these TikTokers that do like variety TikToks and stuff. They go live and they tell you this word's playing, but they only play one or two games or a genre of a game. Right. They don't do anything because they know that grabs your attention. Like people are playing like I talk to so many people. They're like, I play Call of Duty not because I love it, because it gets me to the point where, you know, things are coming in Monterey and stuff like that. They're treating like a business, right? Right. Their side projects are all their VOD content, all their funny stuff. But then on stream, they get the, they get all the people that love to watch COD. They don't particularly like COD, but in time it's like, but then they also don't stream for eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. They stream for two to three, two to four hours, put their VOD content in and only stream that one game. And then they're off and then they're gone. Poof. Right. Right. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out why that is. And you look at all these people. I mean, you probably know people. I know people that 
constantly hop between games, different genres, and that hurts your engagement, that hurts your growth, you'll know that a game will pop off for you. And then the moment you're like, I do these things, you know what the number one culprit is, is taking these brand deals from all these gaming companies. They're like, hey, play our game. Right. Play our game. They get the exposure. You suffer your channel. So like a couple people asked me the other day, it's like, hey, this game's on there. I'm I'm not taking any game deals. Even on streaming, I can't because if I'm trying, when I come back, it's only going to be like a genre or like one game right. for a year or six months. You want to you want to give yourself time as a content creator to see where you're at. And a lot of people, that's why they're growing on the they're just chatting because the content is them. True. When you stream a game, the content is the game, and then supplement is you. Mm-hmm. It's never you're above the game because what? Why are people clicking on that? Because you have a pretty face. Somewhat, but you know, they're there to watch you play the game they like to play. And if your personality is funny, they're there for that game with you on the side until you convert them into you. And we all know we have our core, right? Right. You have the, like the 15, 30, 40 people that show up every stream. Those are your people. You want a 200, you gotta, you gotta play, you gotta play the game. And if you're not willing to play the game, I don't know. That's it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. No, it, it's just content creation. People wear rosy glasses and take hard stances and they don't treat it like a job. You want to get paid. It's like the worst thing that ever is somebody tells you this is how you do to succeed. And then they say, I don't want that to do that that way. Mm-hmm. And then they turn around and say, I'm broke. <laughs> right. See how those don't work together. Exactly. Then again, they'll work a job that they get paid for mm-hmm. that they don't want to do, but they get paid. But it's like, hey, you know, the whole analogy is like you go to McDonald's, you know what to expect. What if McDonald's flipped around and just started selling pizzas? No burgers, no fries, nothing. Just you go to McDonald's and it's just pizza. And you're like, huh? Right. And you're out. You're, you're going down the street to another place. Exactly. That's the whole that's the whole thing. It's like, why are you crippling yourself for pride on something that you haven't built yet to sustain yourself? Because you're not Shroud, you're not Summit 1G where they can go. I, they built all their platforms on one thing and converted people into it, but they all play like they're not. You'll look at them. Their numbers will always dip when they're not mm, shooting stuff. That is true. When they shoot stuff, everything explodes for them. But when they're not shooting stuff, it's I love the game. I get paid, but they're also getting, you know, cha-ching. Hey, I'm playing New World now, but how much mm-hmm. are you getting paid from Amazon? You know what I mean? You could take the hit, but then you go to play CS and their numbers are like double what they're doing. It's because they're shooting stuff. That's the whole thing. It's like, instead of thinking about it in terms of variety, think about it in terms of genre. And then we've had this conversation, like treat your stream as a business, as a job, and you'll go further and you'll, you'll work smarter and just always VOD content. VOD content's king right now. King. Yeah. True. Yeah. You'll, you just never know when you get popular for VOD. Yeah. You'll never know. One video will just take off skyrocket. You're like, oh, I didn't. All right. I guess we're here now. Let's move. That should that should be your variety channel is TikTok, Instagram. Short, shorts are the best right now because like I'm seeing people pop off on on shorts they made like eight months ago. Nice, but yeah, but you don't know when it's gonna happen, and it that just could happen, right? Yeah, but it's out there. But when you stream, you can never get that engagement. So you kind of want to be like, hey, project one year, give yourself a year. I'm only gonna stream this genre. If it's MMOs, shooters, fighting games sports stuff just do it for a year make content around that and see if you grow and then you can convert those people into that and if you want to you know do a variety just get an alt channel and just stream on your alt and you'll be fine yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly or stream that's the kick. in the tooth but that's my thoughts that was my no, thoughts nobody's streaming the kick so you can do that no it's fine <laughs> nobody's streaming hey man you, you listen, listen listen you can't be saying that yeah, i know no, i forget i forget my bad hey, everybody. they will come for you yeah, they'll come for you go. but then but then again this this might not age well because next thing you know i see your butt on kick because they gave hey, you some coin hey, and then I you'll be like what's account. up i'm just gonna throw that out there and i do have a kick. <laughs> i stream there once or twice just i gotta stream everywhere just to see what it feels like and, mm-hmm. and that's all i'm gonna say just in case you know they come through with it anyways uh <laughs> yo tag as always, I'm glad, like, again, I knew having you on the cast was going to be amazing because the type of conversations that you have, I wish you were uh, doing shorts of those. Like, give me, like, one-minute chunks of tech tech news in the morning. But, again, 
I'm glad that I get to know you. I can just hit you yeah. up whenever and be like, hey, man, just dump some knowledge on me, please, because I don't research. I suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. But yeah, the whole thing with me is I know what to do. It's just like I'm with a lot of people. They they hop between different things. Things get stale. So I know where the limitations are. And I haven't found that that drive of the obsessive nature. And when you talk to people like, um, I don't know if you've heard of Roberto Blake and there's a bunch of other YouTubers that, that do a lot of good things. Mm-hmm. When you hit the obsession, that's when, that's when people flip the switch and they start growing. Like there's two streamers that I can't, I'm not going to name cause I don't throw them out there, but I feel you. their obsession on the content creation took a turn. They went from 90, 90 overall to like 600, 750. And it's all because of community-based gaming with personality content and obsession and constantly doing that Wait, and constantly pushing, pushing that stuff out there. 650 unique. Yeah. 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 They, they, they hit the 70, 30 split. Nice. So, and they've been, they have not been streaming that long. So they're, they're really, you could tell like certain people have that, that drive and attitude to like produce things. And it's, and it's more so like, when you when you get to know people like i've talked to people in the space like they they're not just going live for just going live right people are planning their streams out it's like hey these are the points i want to hit this is what i kind of want to do this is kind of what i'm feeling mm-hmm. and then they play off each other right and you kind of know when you have a dope stream like we've always had that dope stream you want to re you want to recreate those streams true but it's very hard to just recreate them but you kind of want to build yourself into planning out a stream, like storyboarding it kind of yeah. thing like that. And that's the kind of things that I'm, I'm more of an organic free flowing kind of situation thing. So I know where my limitations lies. I mean, could I be a higher streamer? Possibly. I'm not saying it's easy. It's not saying I could do it, right? but I know what the tools are to get there. Exactly. And, and you know, the personality type that needs to go with that. You have to be, you have to be kind of obsessive or, or just get super lucky. But you know, you look at the people that log, well, I mean, what I mean by luck is like somebody who's like a variety streamer, they're, they're very less likely to get over than somebody who's a one game streamer or one content thing streamer. So that's true. It, it's, it's just super hard, right? Right. But you got, you, you have to actually love it. You have to love it. You got to yeah. be obsessive over it. Exactly. So let's do this. Let's, we're living in the kind of present kind of future tense right now. Mm-hmm. Let's go back. I want story time. I have a new section for the podcast. It's called Stories Formed in Creation. And these are stories from your content creation journey that are either funny or you learned something from it or something unique that you can only see in this industry. Do you have any such stories? Only that you you can see in this. (laughs) I mean, yeah, like just getting me to like, I mean, the best thing about streaming that I would tell anybody is once you go live, anything can happen. And um, you have to be willing to get outside your comfort zone a lot. Um, yes. So there's two things. There was a show I did for Twitch and there's a lot of things that I wasn't like personally wanting to do or willing to do, but I had to like do it for the show, like the gimmicks and stuff they had you do, the, the silly things that you had to put yourself into. Like, you're like, I'm going to be look dumb yes. as hell doing this. Like, I have to like wrestle something or pick something up and move it and like have a green screen that's cropping out. So my head's floating everywhere and I'm looking like an idiot. You know, you just have to basically like, yeah, let, let it go and do that thing. Right. And the other one is also, you you know, playing scary games with you, which is oh kind of God. annoying. Yeah. Um, where the clip is, that clip is infamous now of me, like knocking over everything. And then like, you don't even know the half of like every, like that, it's so good. <laughs> my camera fell off my monitor. I also knocked over a bunch of water. I knocked over a bunch of other things on my desk. Like my desk looked like somebody came in. It was like a somebody like hit like an earthquake happened. Like I knocked over everything. I it kicked so things. Good. I hurt my knee. Like it yep. was bad. It, it was, was so bad. Good. Oh my god. Yeah. So those are the things of like I don't play those games, but you know you do it for the stream. You do right. it. Those are the kind of things where you have to be like, hey. You know, you couldn't like pay me. I was like, oh, you never pay me. But now I'm on the stream. It's like, do it, do it, do it. You had to do it. And then everybody's like, come on. And I was like, oh, okay, fine. I'll just, and then you just kind of do the things like that. So when content creation comes, you just got to basically let things roll, let things just express yourself. And then mm-hmm. once you, and the best thing that that's ever told anybody is like, if you want to do it, one, don't let anybody stop you. 
and two just hit the hardest thing about streaming is actually going live Mm -hmm. and streaming to nobody yep and knowing that nobody's going to be showing up that is the true test of grind to figure out and you should use that time to just you know develop a character develop a personality develop whatever you need to do and just kind of make sure that if you're going to do something out of your norm make sure it's memorable and that's yes. that's the only intent and find other people that do those joys with you and exactly. that makes it a lot easier 100 mm-hmm. percent. i again i will post that link in the show notes for uh <laughs> that, no, no no you don't have no, to, you don't have to. Yeah. they gotta see it it's so goddamn <laughs> i don't have to man you don't i watched that, that for, the, for the first Dude. year that clip i watched it like damn near every week because it was so good because like it was a genuine i knew i knew you were scared because i felt it i was scared I, out of my house oh. i've been so many scared so many times when you play those those damn games like right. oh my gosh and then the worst part about it is whenever i go to a stream i'm like i kind of don't say anything anymore because like some people still have the the old meta when you say hi it's like shout you out and it plays a clip you know how many times I've seen that clip? Come on, like, come on, man. Like, out of all, like, thousands of clips, that's the one you pick, like, back to back to back? It's the best, back best back? one. It's the oh, best one. It's trolling me, man. Trolling oh, me. yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yo, I love that story. And not that I forgot it, but I, it's just, oh, it's so good. Tech, you have been dropping nuggets of knowledge for these people for the last 20, 30 minutes. I... I got to know, do you have any concrete one person comes to you and they're like, hey, I want to start streaming. What's the one piece of advice? If you only had like two minutes to let that person know, what would you tell that person to do? Pick a game that you can play for a very long time and and build a unique content around that. So whether that be um, the most popular thing that you'll see now is people doing voiceovers. So if you're really good at a game like you join and the best part about it is having like mic interaction. So like Call of Duty will do it, uh, Valorant will do it, um, stuff like that. But anything that you can get it, get your hands on that has voice on there, change your voice, make content around that. Pretend like you're a little kid, pretend like you're a baby, pretend like you're uh, a different person entirely, and yeah. then watch the content play off itself. Right. Um, that's another good meta right now, but generally just find something you enjoy that you know you can play for four to six hours a day or Mm -hmm. however long you stream and just build off that guides any kind of content funny um if you have a skill like music Mm -hmm. like music while you're playing it rap you know sing whatever the case and do something different that nobody else is doing and kind of do that stuff That, that would be my my uh elevator pitch for them to start and then go from there i love it i love it and you know i've been hearing like I feel like you're talking directly to me sometimes because like I, I think I don't know if we let you know, but the whole crew, everybody that I hang around, Chris, Basu, like we've been think looking at streaming and we're like, okay, we've been pushing live and just going live for no reason for quite some time. We need to start switching some things up. And I think right now Boss is taking a break. He is definitely looking at that. Chris is sending over videos. He's definitely having on his mindset. And I too have been looking at what I do when I stream, what used to work, what I enjoy of streaming and how I'm going to start using it as the like the meeting spot. But the content is what's going to drive the audience, as tech has been saying this entire time. Man, I appreciate you, man. You guys, you guys are great. And the one thing that is, is when you hop around, like I said, you hop around on games a lot. It's mm-hmm. hard. And FGC is a small niche community. Yes. But the fact is, people make it on those and people are making a living on there. They're not, you know, the peak of the peak, right? Right. Cause there hasn't been a game that has transcended the small niche community of, of, of that. So exactly. the best thing is, is enjoy the moments that you guys have and then figure out why are you doing what you're doing and what do you want out of it? Like, be honest, like, what do you, like, what do you want? Do you want to be famous? Do you want to make money? Do you want to pay your bills? Do you want to support your family? Then, you have to play the game. Yep. If you don't, if those aren't your goals and you just want to chill and, and go live, then do whatever you want. But if you seriously want to compete because everybody's their own competition, there's only so many viewers out in the world and that's all you can do. And everybody can't watch everybody. So why are they watching you? Exactly. Yo, Tech, I appreciate you. Where can the people find you? Where are you located? Where do you want to point them at? I'm everywhere, but uh, I changed my name. We're going to change it again. But right now it's at Tech Ease. 
everybody's uh, had a, a lost a bet, so I had to change it to tech. Team. So that's uh, <laughs> we don't we don't have time to talk about that, but that's right, where we're right. at right now. But it's at Tech D's everything X Twitter uh, whatever. Elon, you're, yeah. you're driving me crazy. Uh, Instagram, uh, we don't use TikTok that much because uh, reasons. And then uh, Facebook, I'm on Facebook as well, but I'm not really on Facebook. So it's just basically Instagram, Twitter, Bet. X, you know, whatever, and uh, Twitch and that other website, Kick. Kick's Kick. the other one? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's Trovo, but nobody really, really gets <sighs> yeah. on you can make a living off anything, man. Just, uh, you can. You can. It's just, do you, do you want to be known? Do you want to be <laughs> that dude? And, and then yo, YouTube. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to go ahead and give my call to action. If you know any other creators out there who can get some benefits from listening to conversations like these and more, please share the podcast with them. I am located on Apple Music, Spotify, Google Podcasts, which is going away. So YouTube, Stitcher. I, I think I'm on Amazon Music as well. I need to double check that. But let them know that the podcast is great. Leave me a review on any of those platforms and let me know what you like about the show. Other than that, again, Tech, thank you for doing the show. I appreciate you. I will definitely, if you will have the time, I would love to have you back on. So anytime, anytime. Thank you for having me. And, and yeah. all your listeners are great. Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate Always you. believe in yourself. Exactly. Always believe in yourself. And with that, we're done. Protect your mental. Keep creating content. And I will talk to you on the next one.